Hey YouTube, so I want to show you a little bit of research I've done so far on what I've seen. Um, it looks like that may what I may have found out there is something related to Solomon's seal or the Solomon or Solomon's key. And the reason I say that is because if you look back in history, and I'm talking about ancient history, stuff that goes back down to you know to the time of Egypt and stuff. Uh, what you find is, you know, there's the swastika symbol, uh, which is actually not a bad symbol at all. It's actually uh, a good symbol, as well as the eye, um, which in Masonic uh, terms is the eye of God. But if you take a look back in Egypt, you find that the eye, um, you know, as I have showed you before, if you take something that looks like space that is swirling inward, what I did was I blurred that image for you and I was able to phase that from something that looked like just swirling lines into what actually looked like an eye. If you remember, I blurred that for you. And so what I'm finding is is that even if you take a look at the, the yin-yang symbol, the Zen symbol, um, these all are basically depicting black holes. Okay, The swastika is turning actually is what's happening. And depending on which way it's turning, I believe it's associated with either evolution or de-evolution. But I believe that that's what I'm finding here. And I want to play you just a little bit of this clip right here that I found on YouTube. I apologize for the quality of it, but I want you to just kind of see what this person put together. It was called Forbidden Knowledge, The Secret of Creation. And I skip po uh, forward past this. Uh, in the beginning, God created time, space, and matter part because I wanted you to see the symbol associated with it. Actually, I'm just going to flip uh, through a few of these first. Here's an old Mas uh, Masonic symbol that was done in 1893. Okay, that's what these numbers stand for here. Uh, but the symbol you see right here in the middle, G, okay, which stands for geometry or the master architect of the universe. In the middle, you have that dot right there. Okay, and I believe that this is associated with the. And if you notice it around it, it looks like a sun. Correct. And I believe that what I'm seeing out there inside Orion has a lot to do with this symbol. This is inside a Masonic temple, a temple, and you can see it's got this sun right in the middle of it, right? Here's another one. Uh, you know, it's got the hexagram with G in the middle of it. Here's another one because what you see here is you see this this symbol and you can see that the you have this scale which is a scale of balance and so this is kind of where I'm going to go into this clip for you because it appears that what we may be seeing is something assimil uh, similar to a Taurus so let me skip over to that video real quick Let's pause it right there and take a look at what you see happening with this Taurus and where the energy is moving. And then refer back to where I was showing you that vortex in the middle. You remember those spirals going around it like that? Well, just something to associate with in your mind right now. So it's set into motion by a central black hole, which by force of torque creates two equal and opposite polarized magnetic fields. So when you think of positive negative, okay, think of yin yang, okay, which is also the symbol of the center of a black hole, I believe. And by the way, the Star of David 
is supposed to be a triangle of water overlapping with a triangle of fire. Okay? black hole by the way in the middle there. Sorry for the quality of this. stop right there. Now this is a uh, this is something about the Star of David I found on the internet. It says Masonic occult symbols are still uh, illustrated. The hexagram is formed by uniting uh, the water triangle with the fire triangle which is the six pointed uh, sart, Star of David, Solomon's seal, etc. When the two triangles, the water triangle and the fire triangle, are joined together into one symbol it forms a six pointed star known as a double triangle hexagram Crest of Solomon, Star of the Microcosm, and the Shield of David, among other names. It is even called the Talisman of Saturn. So if it's called the Talisman of Saturn, then I think we can rule out the whole fixation of Saturn itself. This isn't just about Saturn. This is about some kind of uh, power uh, or some kind of creationary force in the universe. And so now let's take a look in Wikipedia real quick. So I'm looking at the Seal of Solomon here. Um, here is one right here where we have a picture of an old coin. And if you look in the middle of this thing, you can see that there is something in the middle of it, right? And I believe that is what our black hole is. Okay. And also what it says about this thing is it says that it was, been, it, it was said to have been possessed by King Solomon, which uh, variously gave him the power to command demons, genies, or, or speak with animals. Now, when, I, when it says gave him power, I believe what they're, what's really, we're really talking about here is we're talking about the power that can be obtained by the use of this force in nature. And I believe that's when, you know, so when we start talking about new technology, the Taurus, you know, these, um, these free energy devices that could really be used to power things for a long time. I think that's what we're talking about here. It's not necessarily associated with demons. It's associated with using the balance contained within the universe. We could actually use the power of this kind of thing to uh, for free energy and stuff like that. And I believe that uh, you know this goes into Nassim Haramein's, um his work. And so what I keep seeing here over and over again, and I'll I'll let you go on this one, but uh, I keep seeing several things coming up all the time in symbols, and I'm finding them actually in the universe. I'm actually finding them in the center of galaxies and so forth. Um, I'm seeing the eye. I'm seeing the, the ancient swastika. Um, I'm, I've now found the, um, the Star of David in the center of the, uh, of the Orion Nebula and contained with inside it a vortex, which I believe it's all pointing to black hole stuff. The swastika, the eye, the Star of David, and it's all talking about um, it's all talking about this I believe it's possibly a portal into higher dimensions. It could also be uh, power that you can uh, obtain by using this thing. Um, and I think maybe this could be related to what some of the experimentation that they're doing in CERN. I don't know. These are all speculations at this time, but I wanted to let you know where I was on my research because it looks like what I may have found out there is something related to the Seal of Solomon, possibly uh, the Lost Key. And I, I'm well aware of, uh, of Wayne Herschel's work but I don't know that I totally agree with everything that he says so far um, because of what I'm finding out there inside the Orion Nebula and so forth. So I just want to let you know where I was on everything and y'all have a great night and I'll talk to you soon.